Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm going to skip the lengthy intro thing and just ask you guys to thumbs up this video if favorites is something that you're into or if you like this video and hit subscribe if you're new. I'm really focusing this year on trying to grow my channel so I would really appreciate it. But anyway, let's get into it. These are my favorites that I've had for the month of January. The first thing is my Fitbit, my Fitbit Versa. If I did favorite videos every month, the Versa would be in it every single month because I love this thing. I got this for Mother's Day last year and I've worn it pretty well every day since. Um, not only do I like it for the obvious reasons for like tracking your steps and you know, having the weather <laughs> on your wrist. I like it for just a watch cause I don't have a watch so it's been awesome i would highly recommend it mine is in the rose gold and pink but i have these extra bands that i've ordered from amazon it came in a 10 pack with like every color you can think of so i just switch up the bands now and then the charge lasts about four days i literally have zero complaints about it you can get notifications from facebook instagram youtube literally any app on your phone you can get it synced to your fitbit versa and you can get notified text messages phone calls that type of thing anyways it's my favorite and it probably always will be i love it okay so this is definitely my favorite this is the google home mini that's the plug that's the Google. You guys probably all know what it is. So I got the Google for Christmas and I swear to you, every single person in my family has used this every day since. The kids love it. They like playing music on it. They love, they like asking the weather. They like to ask it like where the weather is in other places of the world. I really like this for playing music. The speaker, the sound on this is absolutely incredible. I call this my DJ. Like whenever we host game nights or anything, I'm always like, oh, I have a DJ. Anyways, that's probably sounds so nerdy. I got it as a Christmas gift from my mother. I actually bought one for my father. I brought one to a Yankee Swap gift exchange. Like I love it. It's just like the Amazon echo i think it's called but you get it it's like a siri <laughs> but i've really been enjoying it we use it every single day i put it on first thing in the morning to our local radio station so i can kind of know what's going on for the day as far as like school you can set timers on it for when you're baking you can it'll give you recipes you can play trivia we love playing trivia on it if you have a google home mini try playing trivia on it. it is so funny and so fun the next thing i have is this tumbler mug it is like rose gold sparkles, focus on the cup. There you go. Rose gold sparkles all in it. And it says, we'll be best friends forever. And then on the back it says, because you already know too much. So I use this as my water cup. I fill this, I kid you not, like a dozen times a day with water. And it really helps me drink more water I find but it's just a plastic tumbler with a plastic straw and I got this for Christmas from my best friend Stacy she I believe she got this on Amazon but it's really cool it's really it's really good quality and I've been loving it I hand wash it though I'm not sure if you could put it in the dishwasher I really don't think you should but uh yeah I just hand washed that and that's definitely been one of my favorites I love that I've been really loving using planners the last few months of 2018 I really kind of fell into the planner world and started to really enjoy it so 2019 I dove in really hard and my again my best friend Stacy gifted me this planner for my birthday my birthday is actually in January so she sent this to me for my birthday and she got this on Amazon as well and this is by clever Fox it's really soft uh, like I think it's faux leather. I don't know, but maybe it's real leather. I really don't know. It feels really nice But this is it here. It's a weekly planner This is a good binder if you're someone that is very goal oriented or someone who really likes to set goals for themselves And that's the one thing that I've been really 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 trying to improve 
in is setting goals for myself and reaching goals and milestones and stuff like that for myself. I really like the monthly spread because it has a place to list monthly goals, list your month's wins, how you'll improve next month. Um, and on the side, it just has habits to adapt, skills to learn, things to avoid, places to go, and people to see. So my favorite part of the journal is the weekly spread. So once again, it's not dated. So you fill that out every week and you can put the date and then it has like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, are a little bit smaller at the bottom. And this page here is my favorite. It's a place to rate out your main goal this week, reward if achieved, this week's priorities, a place where you can put your notes, personal to-do list, habits and skills. That section is really cool. Um, this week's wins and how you'll improve next week. And to go along with that, I also have been enjoying buying stickers for my planner and just, it's just a way to be creative and fun and just something to get a break from your everyday life, just to sit down and play with stickers in your journal and plan out your life, make goals, uh, and just to make it a little bit more fun. So my favorite, I have a few stickers. I'm actually in a sticker swap with two of my best friends, Stacy and Jessica. Um, we send each other stickers in the mail. <laughs> it's, I mean, don't knock it till you try it. It's actually really fun and it's exciting to get like snail mail and open it up and it's just filled with cool stickers that maybe not available where you live or you know i've been really enjoying the happy planner stickers this one here that i got is the planner basic so it's just stickers for basic everyday things it has stickers like uh you know now just you know random type stickers this is all like i've used a lot of these stickers a lot of them are just you know these are a lot of to-do stickers but these are expensive. I'm not gonna lie, these stickers are really expensive, but I was able to actually get this actual pack of stickers on sale for like 14 something at Michael's shortly after Christmas. But normally a pack like this in Canada is like $30, which is so insane. Like I would never probably, well, I shouldn't say that. I probably would, but you know what I mean? Try to find a sale. <laughs> I really wanted to quickly show you these that have been my favorite. These highlighters. Aren't they so stinking cute? They're pastel colors and they're made by the brand Zebra. It's double-ended, so you have one end that's your highlight end. On the other end is a fine pointed marker. And I have been loving these. I just really like the effect they give in your journal because it's not like a harsh, bold yellow or orange, like, I don't know, it just adds a really soft look to your journal. They're so pretty. The colors are, like, are gorgeous. So this was the pack, it came in a five pack. I got them at Staples, they're around eight bucks, which I think is a little bit of expensive. I bet you you could find very similar ones on Amazon for a cheaper price. I haven't actually looked, but um, it also comes in other colors, but these was just the pack that I got. And I would definitely get these again. They're really nice, I use them every day, and I highly recommend them. So the next thing I have is this little duo here, uh, the Hemp Pure Herbal Extracts. This is a duo here that I got for Christmas. I love it so much. This is almost gone, it's kind of dripping. Oh my God, I used it today. But this is the Triple Whipped Cream Body Wash All Day Moisture. That is it there, it is so nice. I kid you not, like, you, when you use this in the shower and you come out, it doesn't even feel like you need to put a moisturizer on your skin because your skin feels so soft. I believe you can get this in like salons and stuff because it is like a salon grade product, but I believe you can also get it like in Ulta if you're in the States. I also enjoy the Triple Moisture Body Whipped Cream. It is enriched with pure natural hemp seed oil. I have been using hemp lotion probably for about 15 years. I've probably gone through 10 of these bottles. I love them. The original scent, which is the white bottle, is my favorite. It's my first time trying this actual scent. It's really nice, but the original is my favorite. It's the best cream you'll ever use. It's, it's a staple. It's been around forever. These are from Drunk Elephant, and this is the Jelly Cleanser in Cantaloupe. And this here 
is the Peptile Cream by Drunk Elephant. And these are just the little sample sizes. They're actually quite large sample sizes. I got these as a birthday gift from Sephora on your birthday, in case you didn't know. They will give you a gift on your birthday. And I chose the Drunk Elephant line because I've been really wanting to try it and it's a very luxurious brand. It's very expensive. I love them. I would purchase these actually, but they're really expensive. But um, I just recently got some stuff sent to me so um, from other brands that I really want to try out. So once I have kind of my stock that I have now gone, this is what I'm probably going to purchase. Unless I love the other stuff more. But this is really good. So anyway, there's that. I also like the Cream Glean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm by Pharmacy. This came in a boxy charm. It is so nice. It's a lot like the Clinique Take the Day Away Balm, but I like as you can see, it's pretty well gone. But it's just like a little balm that you rub on your face. It's kind of like coconut oil, you know what I mean? Consistency when you put it in your hands, it kind of melts, and you just rub it all over your face, and your makeup melts off. So what I do, I should have showed this first, but I use this, and then I cleanse my face with this guy, and then I moisturize with this guy. Anyway. Okay, so the last thing is makeup. I only have a couple makeup things. First thing is the Sultry Palette by Anastasia. In my latest makeup video I've posted, I use this. I use this palette pretty well every day. I really enjoy the colors. The pigmentation is phenomenal. I have created multiple looks with this, and I know, like, I still have so many ideas. It's definitely a favorite. The next thing is the Jouer Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. That is her there. I am in the color Lace. This is a very full coverage concealer. It does increase on me. It reminds me exactly like the Tarte Shape Tape, but I find this might even be a little bit creamier. I don't know. I've been really loving it. It's really hard for me to get my hands on the Tarte Shape Tape in Canada. I can get it, but then I get dinged with duties, and it's just like really, it's honestly, it's like not worth it. So I gave the Jouer Concealer a try, and I'm really loving it. And I got that on Sephora online. And the very last thing in my favorites for the month of January is the Cover FX Glitter Drops. These are so pretty. These came in a boxy charm. I got the color Nova. So you're supposed to just give it a shake. It comes in a dropper like that. You just drop some onto your hand or palette or whatever. You just, you know, you can use it on your cheeks as a highlighter. You can use it as an eyeshadow. People use it under their foundation. I really, I don't really know why. I guess it makes your skin dewy, or I don't know why you would do that. But anyway, people do it. <laughs> uh, it's just been a fun little addition to my makeup routine, and I've been really loving it. So that is it for this month for my favorites. I think I might try to start doing them every month. I really like watching other people's favorite videos, so maybe I'll kind of join the club. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.